uh, that we haven't had a chance to talk about. So maybe there's a few things we can touch on before we like, like get into the heart of it. Um, so um, Ron DeSantis has banned AP African American Studies at a high level. He's put, he's, he's, he's in there, he's, he's written the law. I hope I'm saying it correctly. He's written a law that says that uh, there's a ban now on uh, AP African American Studies being taught in school. There's a lot of folks that seem to really be upset about that. I don't know if I am, um, but of course, with with my reason. So, anybody want to chime in on Ron DeSantis, soon to be president? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's more deleting. You know? I don't even want to talk about it. Right? I think we still have. I mean, we're kind of still learning what it was anyway. Yeah, I mean, what, you know, it's kind of whatever they said. So they're going to erase what they said on that and then try not to talk about it. That's what it looks like. It looks like their path is headed towards that to me. But, I don't, you know, we're on the outside looking in, man. Politics, you know, it could, this could be the setup or the opening play for something 50 years from now that they're phasing in, you know, so. That's normally how it goes. Yeah. So. I mean, I, don't, I, I, they never really told our history or our story. They never, in my opinion, they never really told the story accurately. You know, but but, but they get to do that. Right? Yeah, yeah. When two guys fight, the guy who won his version is the one that everybody rolled with. So when you are conquered people, right, the conqueror gets to tell how the story goes. Right. Yeah. Right? So to to so even what they did share. Yeah, it was like their version. Right. So it's like, why, why they banning their version? That's why I don't, I don't even get caught up in it. It's like, it's weird. It's like, yeah. it's a lie anyway. It's like, yeah. 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 On, and it's only part of a history. Yeah. No. <laughs> so like I said, it's only part of a history. Right. So, did he say Florida's where woke goes to die? He said it, said it again. I think he said that Florida is where woke goes to die. <laughs> So basically he said, go back to sleep. <laughs> Let's make it like it was. The South shall rise again. You know, this 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 okay, so prior to prior to that, the 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 energy was, as I understood it, that we don't want our children and our grandchildren to feel bad. To feel bad or feel guilty about this history where, you know, I our fathers and our grandfathers um, treated black people, African Americans, a certain way. They don't want them to feel bad, feel guilty. They don't want them to feel compassion because that's what changes things. They don't want them to feel compassion. They don't want them to feel your pain. It's not about feeling bad. You know, I, I think I, I can I can agree with you on that because. Uh, These generation, the gen, you know, your generation and younger, they are having more compassion, having more understanding. They're not, you know, like mine. They're caring about whatever you tell them to care about. They're going to hyper care about it. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if they pretend it. Right. So, but I mean, you got these kids now, they like, they're revolutionaries for what they believe in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And a lot of yeah, they're people, extreme, though. And it'll be a, kid of a different group with power that comes from this family that are rebelling you seeing more of that and you know, as the truth is coming out it's just that people just haven't been made aware so that's how, that's how like, that's what, like, that's you want to get in front of that because these kids they you know the collective heart is seen to be kind of like opening up a little bit from all of us as we learn more about each other and be made more aware of what's going on outside of our little bubbles right. you know what i'm saying that's kind of like it's just happening now. But I think that's why they're trying to mute because it's like whatever whatever they've been preaching that was important for 20, 30 years, the this younger generation, younger than our generation, 
are starting to like pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. So you say if you say vote report, they start to vote. If you're saying that um uh knowing your laws and knowing things around you, that's important, they starting to be more involved. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't believe any of that stuff is real personally, but when you start to pay attention to it, either it's gonna work or it's gonna be found that it's not real and either way they can't have either one of those things. Like that's that's like before Donald Trump became president. They're like, well, the president can only do so much, and Donald Trump was able to do like that literally means. whatever he wanted. <laughs> like when when Obama was president, they're like, well, he only his hands are tied. And then Donald Trump went in there, and nobody liked him, and he got everything done that he wanted to get done. So it, so it's either it's either they gonna muzzle you from from uh, participating in the way that you say you're supposed to participate, or they gonna be like, aha, we're just kidding. This shit don't work either. <laughs> So it's like either way they can't do either. So it's just you just gotta okay, yeah, let's say it. yeah, right. It's like they gotta erase it. So you can't even talk about it. Cause if you talk about it, man, you're gonna get to the truth. Yeah. Whether this is it or not. Right. Yeah. I, so I, will, like, I will say that um, I'm 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 gonna agree with that. The way conversations are being had today, a lot of folks are a lot uh, a lot of folks are very uncomfortable about a lot of things because people want truth now. Yeah, and that's really that's been really challenging. People really want truth now. Well, people people want people want what you've been promised. That it's not even it's like if you said, hey, if you do all these things, this is going to be the result. So they start to do these things and say, okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. And so so it's more like it's not even that they want the truth. It's just like we just want what you told you. you just, we just want our police that you say you're gonna give us. They want you to be honest. Yeah. yeah and so if you don't have you it, they're gonna, gonna, yeah. gonna be right. They're gonna let you know. They're gonna. Be like yo, they said he's a lie. He's a fraud. They'll be all on your page. Yeah, they don't play. And 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 this is why based they on what, with yeah, based, based on what you said and what you did, this you're a liar. Yeah, prove it. Yeah, that's what they know. That's why they be holding the money to their ear. Yeah, they don't believe you got no money if you ain't dang seen it. <laughs> and this is like the the future though. Yeah, they like man, you don't got, got no money. Where yeah. is that? It's because it's it's, it's, it's you, I don't know. you see you see the magic trick now. It's like oh oh you, you marked that card. That's why you know which one I had. So like at, so at yeah. some point they're gonna be like, all right, fuck, forget the card game. Let's do something else. That's what's going. That's what's happening. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off just a little bit. I didn't say this early, and I don't want to say this now because it this just reminded me of my daughter, Antoinette Scully is running for city council in the city of los angeles california district six so for any of y'all out here who are checking us out please uh go to her she's antoinette for la you can find her on facebook find her on instagram her website and um the, way, the best way you can help out is to donate um but uh, anything you can do in terms of like sharing her messages we'd appreciate it thank you all right that's step left let's look so I'm proud of you, girl. Two disc jockeys, two brothers out in Arizona, radio, uh, radio personalities. They have trademarked the phrase "White Lives Matter." I listen to them talk. I'll, I'll say this: they're very careful about what they say. Brothers, right? Yeah, very careful about how they frame it. But I listened to it, and what I, part of what I heard was, we not gonna let Kanye get out here and sell a whole bunch of t-shirts they say white lives matter. So we trademarked it, and we gonna do our best to shut down anybody that's pushing that shirt in a way where it, it's an opposition to Black Lives Matter. I thought it was smart. I mean, it is smart, but are you going to do it? But they say they're not trying to do anything with it. They're not trying to make any money. They just want to make sure that people. That's a lie, man. Right. They say people who. I'm just saying what they say. The idea, I mean, it's great. Yeah, you can say a lot of things, but the fact that you patent it, it costs money and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, come on, man. You, like, you're out here for profit. The reason you did it is because if he does it, now you can come after him. That's the only way you can stop him. Right, right. So, like, you would have to, like, pursue him and 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 by doing that you're going to be reaping the benefits, benefits that he earned from it so like you're trying to piggyback yeah. so like it sounds cool but i mean y'all are just 
you're, you're the same. So yeah. maybe they feel like they're doing a cease and desist. Nah, no, that's not cease and desist. That's, that's something else. No, no, I mean, no. because now you can't you can't do it because we own it and we're not gonna do anything with it. So now it it dies here. Yeah, but if if you're trying to block something and you don't want any reward for when you do it or not, we just do it and nobody know. And then if, and then if somebody uses it, like, hey, by the way, cease and desist. Yeah. Uh, I, I, other than that, just say, hey, look at us, look what we did. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Do you really think people are gonna regulate everyday people who like to bootleg? Yeah. Are really gonna care? I never no. seen a person with a white lives matter shirt on. Me neither. Yeah, not even white people. That even that was a boy. It like an idea. idea. Mm -hmm. Even those, even they didn't even approve him to do it. Yeah. He, he tried to get the t-shirt company to print it. They were like, no. He tried to tell them to come. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> They said no. Yeah, that, that, was, that was never no real. Like, that was never a real like thing. It was just like it was for you to talk about it, and then it, yeah, right. you talked about it. Yeah. Right. That, so it was right. like for you to like, and they found a way to profit. Yeah. Right? Like, come on, man. Cut it out in man. the future. I get what they're doing, but you know, yeah. Okay. Oh, if that's your way to do it. All right. Okay. Uh, my man Shannon Shaw and Skip. <laughs> Skip. Skip and Shannon. So I think we all know the story, but so I'll just I'll just say for in I'll lay some some foundation. So uh Shannon Sharp and Skip were doing their thing uh and uh Skip went too far, I think, when um he started comparing Shannon's career to Tom Brady's career. He went so far that Shannon Sharp took his eyeglasses off. His voice went really high pitched. Um, and actually say, this is what you do. When I say something and you don't like it, you disagree with you kind of poke at me. Uh, um, he was very, he appeared to be very frustrated doing that segment of the show. Then a little while later, a short while later, um, and I apologize, I'm forgetting the, the young man's name, the one who got Jamar injured from Buffalo. Jamar Hamlin, Hamlin got injured playing football. Skip, again, made a comment. Put his whole leg in his mouth. <laughs> um, and he came across as being insensitive to the fact that this young man, this young black man, almost died on the football field. Shannon didn't report to work the next day because of Skip's tweet. And then when he did come to work the next day, he was making a comment and Skip interrupted him while he was talking and Shannon once again got frustrated. And I was like, we should talk about this, right? Because Shannon Sharp is not a small man. He has proven over the years to be a physical specimen, one that you might fear. And to watch Skip Bayless talk to him like he was a punk, in my observation, I was surprised that it went the way it went. Now, I get it because it's at work, <laughs> right. but I was surprised that it went the way it went. Because not only did it go that way one time, it went that way again. No, I'm not surprised. Skip didn't apologize to Shannon. He didn't no apologize way. to Why Shannon. Would he? he didn't apologize to him. No way. Why would he? Come on, man. It, it, that show's formatted to be like that, right? It's like another form of buck breaking, right? Like, there's no way this dude's going to do nothing to this white man on TV. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, then, and Shannon, though, if there's been other, other interviews, like even when he was, uh, when he, when he was talking to, uh, What's your boy's name, man? He used to be with Jason. Dane. When he was talking to Dane, right? It's obvious this man is not really in control when he's having these discussions. Right. Like Shannon. No, Shannon. Uh, Shannon. Wasn't, that yeah. wasn't skip. Yeah, so Shannon, so Shannon Sharp, he's a he's like a TV personality, but he's like, he, he doesn't have control of his emotions in these conversations either. So then so so it's it, it's easy for Skip to pick on him easily. 
And I think that is the format for the show. The big, strong black guy outwitted by the genius analysts. Right. Like, so I think it's supposed to, I think they want it to look like that. I think it is crazy. They are picking on them. But I think, I think that's like their, I think that's the like, like idea of the script, right? Yeah. Like, you I'll out with him and he'll just talk brute football, argue and get loud and you straighten them. No. Come <laughs> on, oh, man. I don't, I don't know. It's entertainment. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think they I, definitely pick on. I see, I see that side, but also, especially in those instances, especially the one where he like basically took a shot at his career. I, I, I didn't look at that as I look at that as I, to, to have restraint for somebody that you can beat up. Yeah, that's that's restraint. not that's not weak. I would I wouldn't go as far as saying it's strength, but to have restraint when when that because in that moment what you just said is true, but in that moment, Skip had an emotional reaction to a debate. When 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 most times it, it's the other way around, right. like but that's like it's an emo it's an emotional knee jerk thing to be like if you if you done, done having the conversation or if you if you feel like you're not getting your point across you either going to uh, articulate it better or you're going to give up on that argument or you're going to have an emotional response and so and so if you so if a a, a, a seventy year old white man who ain't never played competitively anything, not even shuffleboard or whatever white people play, can tell <laughs> can tell a Hall of Fame, what, three time Super Bowl champion, or oh, your career is nothing to break. That's like that's like saying like you're you you're short compared to Shaq. That's a that's a Tom Brady won seven Super Bowls and he's and he's a quarterback. The the, the the dichotomy of football is of course not. That's that's not even a fair comparison. It's stupid. To be like, oh, what, well, you yeah, you'll never be Tom Brady. Of course not. I'm a six five black dude from 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 Georgia who can get girls without playing football. I, I'm nothing like Tom Brady, but 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 in most cases it is where Skip is just giving like a a hot take that's well thought out and articulated. It may not even be right. It's just, it's just a knee jerk hot take, right? And if, and if you can't disarm it articulately, you got to seem like you lost the argument. Yeah, it's just the appearance. Yeah, right. So, Shannon Sharp goes to the basketball game. Los Angeles Lakers to the Memphis Grizzlies. And he's trying to fight the players during the game. He wasn't trying to fight them, but he was saying, for this is y'all alone, you can come yeah. on and find out about it. Yeah, he wasn't like initiating, but he was just saying that. If you, wanted, you want to come over here and see what it is, what it looked like, then come on. And that, and that's that's di that's different. If you if I'm arguing with somebody that you will at least give me a good fight. Like nobody respects somebody fighting somebody that you can easily beat up. But if I'm not at work and man to man, I respect you as a man on a physical level, then we can fight. I don't think he respects Skip Bayless on a, on a physical level. And he knows that that's Skip show. Yeah, like people don't realize that that's Skip show. Yeah, Skip. Yeah. And Skip makes. Twenty-five million dollars a year. He makes five. Yeah, and he, and Skip Bayless handpicked him because yeah. because he's colorful yeah. in more ways than one. Yeah, like and a he, lot of people want to see him. Yeah, people don't understand like the the variables that come into play with hot take sports when you're not really even talking about sports. You're just saying the most outrageous thing yeah, that you can, about that you can formulate into a sentence. And if somebody who can who can combat you say. Funny little black people things, yeah. like Shannon then be saying job turkey and shit. So that's funny, yeah. Because he's like he's removed from, black and miles and yeah, like he removed from see. like what black people actually talk like. <laughs> yeah, like he talk about drinking cognac and smoking black and miles, which is, which is a pastime that I enjoy. <laughs> but everybody knows. So white people like to be like, look at that that unassuming black dude that can beat everybody else in the room, but but he's also. A general giant who won't hit anybody. Yeah, in that playing field, it's uh, equalized because it's like we're just both men here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Your size doesn't account for anything. Right. Because if you put your hands on me, not only am I going to prosecute, prosecute you to the full extent of the law, but you're going to lose everything. Right. So, therefore, we can actually now have a conversation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I can actually stand on what I'm saying because I know in this moment that your size has nothing to do with nothing. Right. I'm so you have to, like you said, you have right. to meet me. You have to match wits with me, right? Because that don't matter. That doesn't matter here. So why did so why didn't Shannon like you know the first time 
you know, skip did what he did. Why didn't he put him to the side, you know, after the show and off the air say, you know, you got to wait one today. Don't do that no more. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure he probably did. You think he did? Yeah, because I, I, I think, with, especially in that situation, it's like, it's alarming when, like, a man that you at least respect do something that's, like, weak. So, like, getting emotional, we having a conversation about sports, and then you make a personal attack about my career, and you know my whole life is based on my career. Everything that I built is based on how well I play football, and for you, you basically, like, emasculating me. Like, you basically saying, you wasn't shit compared to this white man that I was. And so that's, it's one of the so yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. It was childish, man. I wouldn't validate. It was so childish. I wouldn't it even. It's, it's, it's hard to it's hard yeah. even validate it. It's hard right. to even just like, oh wow, that's damn. You went there, like, and I think that's yeah. what he was like. Flabbergasted, like, damn, you went that low. Like, you went lowest of the low. You might as well just say your mom's ugly. <laughs> that's where he was at. <laughs> so we don't. So so so. Shannon was a good guy in this in this scenario. Ain't no good guy. Ain't no good guy. Nah, we don't, only players. Only I mean, it is what it is. Like you said, if you skip show, this where your bread is yeah, butter. Man. And yeah. then now you're actually, you know, after you're off the field, you now have a relevant position talking about what you love. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people they get stuck between that rock and the hard place, like. Yeah, you're doing something you love, you, you been, and it's paying well. You've been dancing for white folks. Do you? Man. Yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah. Like, like, <laughs> what do you do now? <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, he, 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 you play football. Yeah, so it's like, it was football. He expresses frustration. Right. Like, even when he was like, I was, you didn't let me finish my monologue. It looked like his monologue was actually going towards a mature, right. like, crescendo. Like, I thought, like, I, I, I gave it some thought. Yeah, but he just cut him off, and instead of him, then when Skip was like, go ahead and finish, like, no, you don't give me the permission to finish what that's I was what saying. Did, right? So that's, that's when he, he was did. just like, nah, we're just going to go ahead and skip yeah. it. Yeah. But, I mean, in those moments, I don't know, you got to be on your toes because you got to be able to respond and be able to say something that can get your point across, you know, something poignant, yeah. you know what I mean? Because Without it, looking like... Because it, because it is like... You really just tried me. It's a lot of variables in places. Like, Skip is 70 years old. He's probably like, what, like 5'8". He's probably 143 pounds, and Shannon Sharp is a human specimen. 6'4", 250, 260, workout, all almost muscle. all muscle, from Georgia, so he's country boy. Country strong. <laughs> like, this guy, like, telling you how he made $4 for the week, and that was a lot of money when he was growing up. So it's like, I could kill you without even trying. I can kill you on accident. So it's like one of those things where, for what? And you so don't give him. You don't give him a person like that. You you give them what they want when they see that you frustrated. Yeah. And so that, I, I would never give him that. Yeah. I I, I wouldn't give him that because that's what he wants. Yeah. He want to feel. He want to feel like in this moment he looked me right in my eyes and yeah. we equal and, in and this we, moment. We're not equal. That's no crazy, way. man, dude. I will, man, stand a short. Yeah. yeah, so I mean that's like it's it's chess, man. So he's losing there, you know. He's getting out. He's getting out with it. <laughs> yeah. So what you guys just kind of outlined is demonstrated in uh, Joel A. Rogers' book from Superman to Man. It's a great story. I, I mean, it's a great, great little book. It's an easy read. I read it. It's basically a black man and a white man riding a train together from one location to another. And um, I'd have to say that they ride the train together. And um, the white man's boasting about how great he is. And every time the black man talks, you show him, because he's talking like he, the white man is presenting himself as always Superman. Then when the black man speaks to him, he's showing now he's just a man. Right. From Superman to Man by Joel E. Rogers. Check it out. It's, it's a good thing. Okay, let's move on to the topic of the night. Does anyone truly love the black woman? Now, when a little while ago we had the Shanquilla Robinson story, the young lady who went to Mexico and was killed. Great. And um, that story was, I mean, it was a story. And, and as stuff was coming out, um, one of the things that 
was significant to me was that her parents, according to the story, her parents were reaching out to the United States government uh, for assistance because this, the story that um, the people who were on the trip were telling her didn't make sense. So they were they went to the American government to get some assistance. The American government say, hey, that happened in Mexico, we can't help you. They went to the Mexican government. Mexican government say, hey, you know, this is what we got, da 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 we can't help you. It wasn't until um, the autopsy was done and it was revealed that it wasn't what the people said it was that government agencies got involved. Now, this is kind of tricky, right? Because the Me Too movement is it's controversial in this way. The Me Too movement basically says, one of the things the Me Too movement basically says is, believe all women. So because of that, there's some pushback from people about the Me Too movement. Because if you've lived on this planet a little while, and you have been in at least one relationship, you know you shouldn't believe all women. That's me talking. Yeah, that's them talking. I believe you. <laughs> right? You shouldn't believe all women. Right? Now, but I think what's happened is, there, okay, there's a, there's a female. It was the hashtag, believe women, right? Yeah, believe all women. There's, 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 there's Don't a... Don't forget all. <laughs> it wasn't all. I thought it was just believe women. I believe all women. For real? Absolutely. I have that up. Believe, That's wild, though. We, we, we can't believe, believe all of anything. No matter what. There was, there's a female that I interact with from time to time. It's been a little while since we have gone back and forth using our social media platforms to communicate with one another. Um, Clearly, she has no love at all for black men. Um, I can send her a clip of a father doing some wonderful things with his children, and she'll send me, a, she'll make a comment. Um, let me see, I'm trying to think the worst comment she, she made to me, or the most, I don't want to say the worst. I mean, um, I think the most shocking comment she said to me was, and this is right after the um, Roe versus Wade was overturned. She said, black women should have access to abortions just so they can abort all black boys. Mm. So that's just to give you an idea of who I was talking to. Well, she joined in with the genocide, huh? <laughs> um, this, she wants the black race obliterated. No, she got, a, that she, she got a black boy, that girl, right? She, she got a son. I don't, I don't think crazy. she has any children. I hope she don't. I don't think she has any children. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't think she has any children. Somebody thinking like that don't even know the son. She's going to kill him. I'll tell you something similar to that. That's crazy. Got a black son. She got a daddy, though. Yeah. She want him dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's wild, right? Because, you know, so the point of where I'm trying to go is. We know that there are black men, black males, black boys who have done some really horrible things to sisters, right? And nobody's ever trying to make an excuse for that behavior and whatever they have earned, they need to go ahead and get that in terms of you know, some type of punishment or some kind of retrib retribution. I don't think, I don't know of brothers who don't feel that way. But there's sisters who feel like we don't feel that way. So when the Shanquilla situation happened and then the Brittany Griner situation happened, right? When Brittany was released, Sisters were saying, that's a bad deal. And I thought, that was interesting. So that's when I said, is there anybody 
that's truly out here advocating on the behalf of black women. Because I watch black women advocate for everybody. They especially, and this is my, this is something I'm noticing, and it could be because of where the frequency I'm on. Well, John Black, it's definitely because of the frequency I'm on. But I noticed that there's a black women are more dedicated to women in general than they are black families. So, you know, I'm saying that when I ask the question, are you a woman first or, or are you black first? They, I'm, they, are, they are a woman first and they fight on and they, and they speak and they produce and they work and they on behalf of all women. But I don't see the other women advocating on their behalf. So I asked, so the question came to me, is there any group, is there anybody out here who really loves black women? I mean, that's the obvious answer to that. Man. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying. I, I don't even. What, what's the answer? I'm, I'm putting. <laughs> I, think black, I think black men definitely are like for black women. I think. Uh, I think a lot of black women have showed black men that they're not for them. So a lot of men are like. I know? mean, we still marry them at the highest rate, right? right. We do. I mean. Yeah. We date them exclusively, don't we? Well, maybe us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that are not married. Most people at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not my job. I feel like in this, we we kind of got this thing where we it's so easy to focus on the people that's not. You know, like I got a friend, and he's an artist, and he's talking about, oh, yeah, you can't trust people, man, it's these taters. And I'm like, dude, so many people love you, like, and encourage you and support you all the time. Like, yeah. but he's like finding the person that doesn't, you know okay. what I'm saying? To like, to fuel some kind of wall that he want to keep up, that he feels is going to keep him safer. Right. You know what I'm saying? When really it's just skewing his reality. Yes, yeah, like, well, it's for, it's forming his reality. So like his his skewed train of thought is like becoming a reality because it's what he's looking for, yeah. right? But so, it, but, right. but, so, but it also be so it so be he's true. missing all the good. So now he's only he's only seeing the bad, and now he's like attracting it to him too, right? So yeah, same with a lot of sisters and same with a lot of brothers. But we talk about sisters right now. Right. So it's like there are so many people that's encouraging you support and you got your bag making songs about you making art about you um fighting and lobbying for you know yeah. you to be treated as well as you could possibly be treated you know what i'm saying and there's other people doing horrendous things too so it's like can you find a balance in it because not saying don't look at that you know what i'm saying don't be aware of that you know you want to be aware of both can you but at this point in my life i'm focusing on the people that celebrate me, that love me, I'm going where I'm celebrated, not where I'm tolerated. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. It's just like, okay, if I got haters, I don't know. Because I, I ain't thinking about it. Right. I ain't worried about it. I don't see how that can generate anything for me in my life that I'm trying to create. Um, that's not where I'm building from a place of. And I can name situations with, I've been stabbed by a black woman. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been lied on black black woman to the police. I've been hit by a car with a black black woman hit me with a car. You, you know what I'm saying? Woman, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I've you been, still love her. Yeah, yeah. I've been put on child support when I've been a active parent. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Fighting for my license and struggling. The police on my trail. <laughs> still love this woman. Got nothing but love and respect for her because I realized that everything she did, she did out of survival mode of being a mom. And what she felt like she needed to do to, to survive and protect the way of life for her and our child. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I was younger, I was resentful. Now, the more I'm more wiser, I understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I had an interesting conversation <coughs> about that survival thing. This week. Nothing can make me, nothing can ever make me think. But when I think about black women as 
help me learn things, help me to survive, help me to get on my feet, help me to realize who I am, help me to do everything. Right. There's nothing that I've accomplished in my life really that a black woman ain't have some kind of hand in. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like that's goals. Well, I don't know. I'm not a black woman, so let me not say that. But if you think about it, you can find people that's advocating for you, people that got your back. Any black woman I know, they can call me. There's a black woman that I just knew on social media. She hit me up because she felt like I was safe. And she said, can you help me? I'm trying to move out. This dude I'm living with, he disrespected me. And I'm trying to get up out of here. Uh, can you think you can help me? Right. And I went over there and I helped him move and drove the U-Haul and helped to put the stuff in storage. Right. We friends to this day. Right. You are crazy. I never. <laughs> but she seemed like she was like really desperate. And she was like, I know this sounds crazy, but like you just from our conversations, like you just seem like I can reach out to you. Could you could you help me? Right. And I did. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know, maybe some sisters don't have those type of experiences and my heart goes out to them but i know it's for men right here that i know love black women would do you know whatever we can for them so we created this let's see we created this platform for that specific reason right we've been doing this now what seven years when we when we started doing this the whole idea of was for us to have conversations about everything, be entertaining, have conversations about everything, but the goal was to share the black man's perspective so that black women can get that information so that she has it to use when she is in relationship with us for our betterment in relationship. For I mean, when I say our, I'm talking about for the man and the woman. That was the whole reason this platform platform was committed uh, uh was 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 created but there are women who watch this show who say that we hate women super wild yeah and really they, you know, know what i'm saying right. so it's like it's like so and then now when i have individual conversations you know outside of you know when we're on the show i can go a little deeper and i and, and i and i say okay so how do we talk about the problem or how do we talk about what we see without actually talking about what we see? Hmm. Right? So it goes back to the brain tumor. How can we do what we need to do to get the healing of the brain tumor if we're talking about how good your legs are and how good your heart is? Nice cap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, right. so now, brothers will tell you that for years, Sisters would let us know what it was. They're doing that every day, all day, right? Continuously on the loop, right? But now, <laughs> but 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 now that there's this thing that's happening, and I think it's necessary. But now that there's this, now that there's now there is this thing that's happening, where men, particularly black men, are talking to black women, and we're saying, "Hey, this is this is what we see." It was crazy because we did a show on this what three or four years ago called I'll Always Love My Mama. Can we hold black mothers accountable for how they're parenting our sons, our, our children? Right. And we had a sister that got up on her feet and was was yelling at us at the top of her lungs, trying to say that um we should actually have women on the panel on this topic. And I was like, wait a minute, how are you missing what we're talking about? We're, we are trying to get you to hear what we see when we look at you when you're parenting our children. And she said, because we weren't women, we weren't qualified. And I was like, wait a minute. I got a mama. Well, only a woman. She's a black woman. And that's, that's, that's the disc That's why I, mean, I, I stopped acting on this because it's one, it's one of those things where you're not allowed to have an honest conversation. So literally, literally, we'll sit here and we'll say, you get the mirror, you get who you are, Tommy, right thing. It literally means the progress that you'll see in the people that you attract is going to be based on the work you do on yourself. Right. And it will literally be somebody who will hear that and be like, but men do this. 
And it's like, wait a minute. Like, I didn't even mention women, man. I said, I'm the problem, and I got to work on myself. So so when you, when, you, when you speak in that way, it becomes an attack to somebody who wants to be attacked. And, and and I and I had to learn how to like not okay. So you attack me, I'm going to attack. I, let me let me say something to hurt you. Let me say something to attack you. Right. Not like like we were just talking about marriage before the camera star rose. And then somebody goes, oh yo yo, it's like hurt you. I didn't mention my ex-wife. I didn't mention a man. I didn't mention a woman. I said marriage. <laughs> right. And I was just talking about the marriage in principle. I said, and was having and, and and I was saying it in a fun way, but it's one of those things where it's like. Your wife must hurt you, and I'd be like, I could be like, well, did your husband hurt you? Like, I, but that, but that wouldn't get us anywhere, right? Because, because, and, and now we're not having an understanding conversation. We have a conversation about being triggered, right? And and so, no matter how you approach it, that's that's why the people who the people who want to have a conversation, we have the conversation. Because I, because if I, I say something, and it'll it'll be women who be like, I get it, and I understand what saying this is what I agree, I disagree with this. I can have a full healthy dialogue between a woman or between a man but i but i but people that i can't have a healthy dialogue with male or female i just don't reply because if you because if you don't want to have the conversation or you just want to be right then we don't have a conversation we're not coming to each other with the honest conversation we're not coming we're not coming to, coming to each other with good in good faith see, that, that now see that's that's key because me and jason we've been talking about this a little bit about about being in conversation in good faith, being honorable in conversation, being integrous in conversation. It just seems to be like such a foreign concept. Like every time, every time I'm in conversation with somebody and they move the goalpost, I feel like okay, now the now the honor that was in this conversation is just left alone. Right. And then it's like we can't even. That's can't that's trust you in the conversation. Like even me and Jay have conversations. He'll say something. My but I just this and this is why this. What's moving the goalpost? It's like changing the rules to the game okay, while so, we play it. So all right, I made a post today and I said, um, I said, what's when people talking about fifty fifty? Do they ever think that that fifty is actually that a hundred percent of what that person has to give? women in particular, or they just thinking about the 50 that they got to come up off of, you know, like to you, it may seem like 50, 50, but that 50, if that brother, if that's a hundred percent of what he's given, that, that's, that still makes him a man. He's given everything he has to the, to this purpose. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that 50 look like, whether it's 50,000 or whatever, whatever, some woman comes on there, Millennial men always trying to get women to date broke men. That's true. You hate but women. I, mean, I didn't when I said you that. Hate women. I do it. What what did <laughs> I say? Like I didn't say that. So I just said you misinterpreted my post. I'm not finna go over there where you just went. I'm not even gonna go meet you there. I'm just gonna say you misinterpreted my post. If you come back and say, So what did you mean exactly? Or okay, well, that's what I got from it. Then maybe we could go from there. She never responded. She just had to get that off. Just assuming, I don't know, that somehow whatever his 50% was, it equals up to not being enough, which equals up to him not being a man that can provide. Like, I'm not going there with you. This 50 could have been 100000 a year. You know, it's subjective to what people, to people's lives and what they believe financial success looks like. Right. So she just went to some place, you know? She just completely moved the goal for me. And, that, and so I, I just didn't entertain it. I'm just saying, like, whatever people are giving, if they're giving 100%, two people giving their 100% and they busting it down, however they busting it down, what makes a man is that he's giving 100% to a purpose. Not because he's taking care of everything. He can be a piece of shit and take care of everything, but he can also be a great man that takes care of everything. But it isn't just automatically equal you know what i'm saying if a man is going half with this woman that he can't get the job done you know and she went there and i was just like no nah, i'm not i used to try to walk people down when they move to go post and black right. would be like bro why are you wasting your energy with these people yeah for real and i'm like man you're right they just want to 
It, they just got some people just got to be a victim in the story somehow. Right. I mean, you want me to date a man that can't take care of himself? Because there's a there's a, there's a there's a lot of people who want to have a healthy dialogue and want and actually want to know like okay, I think about things in this way. What do you think? And then you can have a healthy dialogue right. with that. But it, but it, but if you but if you just decided that this is the truth and what you're saying goes against whatever I think the truth is. I'm going to say something that got nothing to do with what we talk. So, in short, moving the goalposts is, is you saying something or bringing up something that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what I'm talking about, and it's very clear. So, so we're talking about hey, if a, so, in a in a simple, simplistic way, hey, sometimes men are giving you all they got, and that's all they got is to be to go fifty fifty with you. And you say, well, if you want to if you want to settle for broke man, just say that. That's moving the goalposts. No, I'm saying all I have is what I'm giving you. And if all I have, and if I'm giving you, okay, if I'm giving you all that I have, and it's not good enough. Now, this is me talking. If I'm giving you all I have, and it's not good enough, no, baby, you're not good enough. For me. And right. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, you're not good enough. Because now... That's an indication, like we said on the platform before, that's an indication that you're using that man as a tool or an instrument to manifest your idea of what a relationship should be rather than actually be with the man. And you get to do that. It's, I just put I put it in the category, it's a it's a something or something relationship. And you can and something for something relationships are what most people are in. Leverage, leverage, right? Love. That's that's what they're that's what they're in. So that love, leverage. no, it's it's bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? What? That was a term there. <laughs> leverage, 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 leverage. <laughs> leverage. leverage. Uh oh, we have to. Okay, we have to go. You got to trade my dad. <laughs> so so when some so okay, I'm I'm real. I think I'm real clear about saying. You don't have to be, you can be in a something, something for something relationship. Just everybody, I think it's good if everybody knows that's what they're doing, right? Yeah. If you are in a something for something relationship and you say to the other person, I love you, that's a contradiction. Yeah. If you want, okay, maybe, maybe I should try to say that. <laughs> let, me, let me see if I can say that. Everything is something for something, right? Let me, let, me see, let me see if I can say that. Better. If you're in a relationship and you have an expectation that the other person is supposed to do what you think they're supposed to do for you in terms of whatever, a something, something, something for something relationship, and you are also saying to that person that you love them. I see that as a contradiction, and I was, and I'll, I'll try to demonstrate it this way. Um, the passage in the Bible, I'm going to forget it, but I know you know, some folks are here will get it, help me get it right. Um, God loved the world. God for, for God, God so loved, loved the world, world, He gave His only begotten Son. Right. That is a passage that. In the Christian in Christian religion, they tell you that God it demonstrates God's love, right? That passage talks about sacrifice and about giving. It doesn't speak to getting and receiving. So it was a back end on that on that contract, though. What's the back end? You didn't want to do it. I told you. Oh, I got a place. It's a place prepared. I'm going to prepare a place for you, and there's going to be another place prepared for you. I'm going to speak to vengeance. Spring president. I love you. But you, but you, but I think you, but you get, you get the point that I'm making. So, so when we're, there was something for something. Right. So I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying people shouldn't have something for something relationships. I'm just saying that if it's a something for something relationship, let's say, okay, this is a something for something relationship. This is what we're doing. This is our agreement. Let's move this way. Yeah, don't call it something else. But and don't right and don't call it something else. Because now, because now, because now, 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 now it becomes confusing. Because now it's it's not confusing. It's a lie. Yeah, because we're not in love. We involved. We just. 
we, I need you, you need me, or or I need you, I need, need you me. for this. Yeah, I, I yeah, it's like that's what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that's yeah. and that's okay. But as long as you understand, <laughs> when you start saying, "Well, we got married because we in love," that's not you didn't. Who's gonna cut this grass, man? Who's gonna sell this patio? What do you mean? That's stop, man. Like that's who's gonna mop this floor? Man? Go, we, we ain't gonna be <laughs> honest here. Get his laundry, yeah, man. man. He's got to be cooked, man. So, so the, the initial question was, who, who, who does anybody truly love the black woman? Yes, me. And when I, when I, when I, when I, when I came up with the question, when the, when the question came to me, my first reaction is, I don't think there's any. I can't think of another group other than the black man that loves the black woman even better than the black woman loves the black love herself. The gays. No, they go. <laughs> they do everything that black women do. <laughs> yeah, but they'll yeah, but they'll trade out. They'll trade out on them too, though. So that's the problem. But, yeah, right. So like they, so they do. They mimic them like to the T. But then when like adversity comes, like they, they hit your ass. Here. They, 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 they gonna pick one of these other categories to be in. They trade out. They trade on each other though. It's funny, man. But, but like, well, well, Trump when he got elected, I forget the percentage, right? A white woman voted with him. Fifty-six out of the percentage. Okay, fifty-six percent of white women voted with Trump, and even though they went out and protested, protested him after the election, they still voted for him. They didn't want so, a woman to be right. So, so, <laughs> so. The question I, don't I had know if it's that though too. It's gonna it'll be a combination of things because you know white women go. Don't go with a white man, right? You no, know, they ain't going nowhere. They, white women will vote for a black man for they vote for a woman. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'll say this: I think I think sometimes with white women, their house is not divided in the vote. So, like, if their if their white husband says we're going this way, there ain't none of that. Oh, I don't know, honey. I'm talking all this back. No, nah, they gonna run with that. And they're gonna be a unified front on on politics usually. So white women don't talk back. I get it. That ain't, that ain't that's not what I said. I'm saying <laughs> white women, what I'm saying is they're usually a unified. No, that's, front. that's true though. White women benefit from white male patriarchy, right? Right. So yeah. I mean, that that's so the real them. thing, right? So, so what Devin you, said is Devin said would be accurate, but that's not the case in black household. Is, is that what we say? Uh, is that the flip side? Well, I don't know. We didn't talk about the black household. Yeah, that's all right. But but I think politics. Sorry, that was it. You can tell more. I think black women they they benefit from the white patriarchy. Who? Black women. Black women. Black women. Oh. Black women yeah. And what way? Oh yeah. Uh, leverage in the work market nowadays. Sure. Like women get, can get into corporate America a lot easier than a black man. Y'all are considered less threatening to be in a position of power than we are. Yeah, a black man is competition to a white man. A black woman is like a potential partner, or yeah. you're gonna work for me. You know, you're gonna owe what you have to me. You know, yeah, it's different with they'll they'll, they'll naturally submit to the, to the mate because they benefit. That's okay. Yeah, but yeah, they because it's already a sexism thing there too of a man being superior to a woman. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Okay, even if I, even if you become a partner at this establishment or whatever, we still know who's here. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be as threatened by you if you voice your opinion to me or something like that. Whereas you cast any black man, if you just say how you feel, people act like they, people were yeah, like, like you whoa, yelling. hey, like yeah, yeah like whoa, hey, They'd be whoa, like, hey, calm man. Down. Oh, look, and you're like, bro, I'm not even mad. Like, all I'm I just, said was, I don't want cake, man. I'm just telling you. <laughs> <how> I, <laughs> like, you don't have to yell, Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just telling you how I feel, and you acting like you're like threatening it. Really and really and I, I'm all kind of hostiles and rebellious in my little paperwork and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's a real thing. We we deal with that. We deal with that. I mean, any place that I've worked that I'm trying to think. I mean that's that's how it's, they, it's like they let you know our rip. Lower your tone, like 
calm down your animations of being black. Like, be monotone. When you're talking to me, be monotone, lower your tone, or I'll make an example out of you because I know that people kind of look at you with this like unspoken reverence. So I'm going to like make an example out of you so that everyone else knows like, like how it goes, which yeah. goes back to, you know what I'm saying, butt breaking and all that. Yeah, you get things. picked on like Shannon. Right. She's break. That's what they'll do. They don't like you, they'll try to break it. No question. It has been done. Like they will pick on your ass. I mean, you see the pictures they pick of us and different things when things happen in the media and stuff. They'll try to find a mugshot or some kind of picture where you, yeah, look, where you look aggressive or violent or, or you know what I'm saying? Like, and people actually look at you like that. People still question their person. Super Predator? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Super Predator? Yeah. That's like a black man, right? People yeah. still clutching their purses. Yeah, people still on, holding their kids a little tight. I don't know people too many other people the groups street. got that title, right? Like, that's pretty extreme. <laughs> I see people it's crossing the street. Predators. I see people cross the street when I'm coming down the street. That's a dope ass title, yeah. too. Got them, got them elected. I hear cars a lot when I walk across the street. I see women grab their purses tighter when I'm when I'm walking when the I'm door lock when I'm walking towards them. Now I do it. Yeah. Why people walking by me? I yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so annoying. <laughs> I want your little raggedy car. <laughs> but yeah, that is a thing, though. You disagree? You think? You disagree? Yeah. yeah. I think I know that what you're saying is true experience, but I don't think that black women have a golden ticket in corporate America. Like, like we don't have this kind of revenue we have that I'm hearing. Um, I don't think we said y'all yeah, have a free. Uh, uh, okay. All we uh, said was we don't have one. Uh, no, we uh, said uh, 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 the, the question. I think the statement was the statement was black women benefit from the way cut white like, patriarchy as well. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah. I'm I'm not hearing how black women are benefiting from white. No so you don't think that they do? I don't. So. But I'm willing to try and understand where you're coming from. But well, so you're saying not, not, at not, at not at all? Not at all. No? Okay. I'm not, no. Like, they're not for me. They're not here to produce no, I, and, I, I, and, 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 and procreate with me. That's not, what, yeah, but that's that's, not what's going down. That's, that's what. When, when, when so, what do you consider a benefit? What? The white female benefit of white patriarchy? No, no, we're talking about we're talking about benefit, black women. Black women, how how, how black you benefit? Because I mean, I, and I'm not, not saying that you get the same benefits as somebody else. I'm just saying, no, nah, you just get a benefit. I mean, if you see it as a benefit that I'm seeing as like you know a potential concubine, like because no, that's, no, 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 what what is no. that? Nah. I, I have been. I, <laughs> no, nah, I'm saying <laughs> you said you have been. yes, okay. <laughs> like there there is this this. Sexism. There is the and well, we, yeah, we just racism. talked about that. Yeah, that's what. But you that's know, like I think that. that's why they'll let you in the door. We're not saying it's good. Yeah, that, that's that's it's still disgusting. Like, come on, man. But they'll let you in the door on that, and it's not like it's terrible. But like that's what it is. Because you're not considered a threat. Right. Which it's, is a it's which is an insult. Right. It's but not, it's, it's like it's a I feel ticket. safer. It's not a yeah, it's not I feel out. safer I in my superiority with you around more than I would with his brother around. So let me let me. Let it's, me yeah, it's not a compliment right. to no. It's not a compliment and, and, to nobody. Yeah. Huh? You, 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 I mean, you to a lot of people that talk about the bag the and they taking trips and they making this much. You see it all the time on social media. Yeah, yeah. It's not oh, every black woman, women talking about, about the money that they making in these fields yeah, and these people good. that they're like challenging and you know. I was at this meeting and I was the black woman there and I want other black women to know that. I was the only black woman at that table, and you know, saying shout out to you. Fuck that table. But but any, I'm gonna be there. Anything. But shout out to you because it's saying you well. And do 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 do. Anything you do. Anything you do. Anybody leverage. who chooses to like take something like that and like you and you get paid for it, like yeah, you 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 reap the benefits of this. Yeah. But it, it but but it, but it's it, or some it, of it, it. And it and it's beneficial to what you would consider success. But there's no real threat for you to be the top dog. 
and even if even if you run ABC, you still got to answer to the dude run by it or by or whatever. Yeah, whatever. So it's so it's one so it's one of those things where it's not a golden ticket. It's not a great thing. It's just that you have a certain leverage that we don't that we don't have, and that's okay. And see, okay, so all right. Um, like when you speak about and even the in that, this is leverage in someone else's system. Yeah, somebody else's system. So it's like it's, it's like we yeah, it's like it's like to be his what was his, his work. I mean, oh, you know, it's pseudo leverage, you know what I'm saying? But if, yeah. if it's your pocket's cool, but I get what you're saying. Like that, I'm not. Cele yeah, yeah but nobody's what, celebrating that. What was the anecdote that you when, you when you say about um when you asked a woman like was she a comfortable potter? Yeah. Um. Say you know the, the question. The question was um. This I think what what why why is it so difficult to sit down? With a with black men, or black why is it difficult a challenge for black women to sit down at a table with black men and map out a future um, world where we work together, live together um, outside of the current system? And sisters push back on. It. I've never had. I've never. They were had, like, "What's it?" I've, I've, I've never. I never. I never had a sister in the beginning say, "That's a great idea." Most they, of they, them they were all, like, "What's they all us? had to be." You got to show us where it's like, what, and show, what's in it for us, right? Like, because, wow. because, because we're talking about a society for black people. Because you yeah. have to be black children, black women, black men, all of the above. But that uh, most of them were like, "What's in it for us?" Because but maybe you do it first and show us, and then we'll come. Then we'll come along. Like, yeah, that's holding on the leverage. Yeah. So, so, so that's because we have a we have positive footing in this matrix, which is the, what was the whole point yeah. of this. Why are we following? That's so. The, so so even so okay so what you're saying okay I'm, I'm gonna say this is what I heard because there's a pause in them to want to work with us that pause is is, is an indication is a confession is them confessing that they have been right so they in the current system we know over we, us so why work with us right that's what I can you say that accurate we 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 know we know that we we have a benefit to them. We know we know that we benefit. We figured out how to fix it. And so let me. Okay, I want I want to I want to see because it because it, it, it gets too easy for it to sound like you know we're picking on black and we're, and we're not. We get we get it's it's too easy for it to sound like we're picking on black women. That's not what we're doing. What we're saying is we understand. You uh, haven't had to do about it. But at what point? Uh, yes. Somebody jumped onto the screen? Yes. One dog. One dog? Okay. Ready. What's up, Holmes? What's going on, brother? <laughs> so, ready. <laughs> so, we're not saying that we don't get it we're saying that we do get it and even though and, and because we get it we are wanting to work together you're gonna have to, can you can you get it ready if you can man back out and just listen all right all right appreciate you bro where i work at in the office the head the head guys are, are two white guys and then there's two black women that's underneath that's that's Underneath them, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They do well for themselves. And then all the brothers and the Latino brothers, we out there in the trucks with blue collars on. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's like, that's what it is. That's what you go <laughs> That's what it is. Like, Shakespeare mom used to say. Uh, those two sisters got to gotta, gotta run everything they do past those two white dudes. So. And we uh, got to run out. That format is like, um, it's actually genius though. You know what I'm saying? If you're like the guy on top, you know? Cause like, if you think about what a woman's role is or like what women do, like you give a woman something, you're gonna take it, make it amazingly better. Right. Right. And improve it. Right. And then like 
Just give it back to you, like, well, ordered and ready to go. What's going on, Vic, huh? In a show, like, you yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Outside the chill. Yeah, so, uh, man, they're chilling out for a minute. I'm about to say. See how you can say that ain't really no benefit. That's just me working really super hard. You know what I'm saying to get where I'm at. You know what I'm saying. Well, try and trade out and do the blue collar. Yeah, cause that, that <laughs> watch how you hate that more. Be like, well, maybe this leadership position is. I'm just saying. I do have a friend. She's an attorney, and she ended up starting her own firm because when she got out of school, she moved to work for this company, and she was the top generator in that company for like the quarter and everything like that. And they were undercutting her and she was finding out that the guys that was in the same firm with her that weren't producing as much as she was, they were still making more money than her. You know what I'm saying? So she ended up like, it ended up being a blessing in disguise because she ended up quitting and moving back here and starting her own firm. And now she's doing so much better than all those people. You know what I'm saying? But I did witness it firsthand how she was just, completely being undercut and uh, undermined just because she was black woman. Yeah. And she was more capable by the, she was more capable on paper by her, what she was generating. And she probably was one of the top around earners. Her. No, she was the top one, bro. Yeah, she was see? telling me the numbers like. She was the top earner and they, they gave her peanuts. She approached yeah, like the head of the guy, like the top, the guy who was running the firm about it. And basically she got that label of like, yeah, we're gonna have to get you up out of here because oh, you don't know how this works. Angry, yeah, because yeah. you don't you they know do, how this works. That one over. And she was like, according to my numbers, this and that, and they were like, they ran us some company line, and uh, she was like, yeah, I got to have to get up out of here. So she did. See that there's there's a thing, right? So when you when you when they break down when they talk about um, how much black women, how much, how much women make to the dollar, right? How much, and they break it down into categories, right? Um, they got the black Black women, they got black women on the on the back end of that on the back end of that totem pole. But one of the one of the one of the things that exists when they're playing with those numbers is that um, a man is more likely to ask for a raise. A um, a woman is more likely to um, be more cooperative. Right, so she's probably not going to ask for a raise, you know. And if she does, it won't be, it won't be at this. It's not at the same rate or at the same level as what what men do when they're when they're when they're in field. And see, a lot of that, a lot of that gets, a lot of that is attributed to um, the nature between the nature between a man, the nature of a man, and the nature of a woman. Where a woman is more caring and more nurturing, um, more cooperative, and um, so she tends to be that even at work. So when she, because women, right, we're talking about black women. So now because black women are spending more time in their masculine, right? And then they assert themselves, then they become the angry black woman or, the, or she's a troublemaker or she's this or she's that. I, um, Which is anyways that you're supposed to know your place. Right. Yeah. Right. And, see, and it's and it's challenging because we Tara said this um uh on back on on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a, another episode where she said coming out of slavery, um we didn't have this we didn't have the pie in the sky situation where there was a man 
and he went to work and the woman stayed home. She said, no, no, black men and black women have always went to work. Um, uh, the, Jeff Brown, he said, he said, it, he said that, but he said it this way. He said, um, I think it was Jeff Brown, um, who said, um, and I apologize if I'm getting this wrong. He said, no, we were, we black men and black women would go to work and then they both come home and complain about white people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. I mean, she, she's going home to clean. She's out, out all day cleaning somebody's house. He's out doing his thing with the shoe shine or washing dishes in some restaurant, then they both come home together and complain. Now it's not that's not the thing. Now it's we are actually against one another. And I think I, I if I'm not mistaken, um within the last week or so I put up a post like the war, the war between men and women is an illusion. The war should be with those who want us to play to participate in that illusion and be at war with one another right so when we, whenever we're talking about whatever whenever we're talking about what we're talking about for me the goal is to point out all, all of the bullshit we both agree that it's all bullshit then we do what we got to do to get rid of our personal bullshit so that we're as we're moving forward together, we're coming together with not with, with less shit. For me, that's the goal. So any anything, any idea, any perspective that has us on opposite ends of the spectrum and we're staying on opposite end of the spectrum, I got an issue with because we're not moving forward together. And I don't I don't see us being able to do this and not do it together. Child discussing who's getting Getting pressed more by the same system. Right, right, right. China, so now he's both be finding a way out of the system. China's a good, really good example. You know, they they did this thing where they were not, um, what to say, you can only have one child, and for some reason they decided that the male child would be the more valuable child. This year is the first year. For the next ten years of how they of, of how that country is going to suffer because they were aborting their daughters. It's reported. Let me say it's reported that they were aborting their daughters so they can make sure they have sons because they can only have one child. We're going to be born. <coughs> and even if the child was born, they would it's been reported that the child, the girl the girl children, the girl babies were being killed so that their child wouldn't exist so they can have a boy. So they can have a son. So now what they've done is they just got a bunch of boys. Now who are those boys supposed to mate with and have families with? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is they're going to be affected at least by the next 10 years for that decision. Yeah, birth rates are going to be way different. I think but I think all of this is a all of these, it's a lot of that stuff going on right now. And all of this stuff kind of comes back to genocide. Yeah. You know? Right. Like if you fall if you fall for this and start to believe in it, right? It, in any form, like like this is going to be the end to a group of people if you follow it, right? right. You know, like this is what it is, man. So if you allow like some political group to coerce you into thinking this is a good way of life, right. yeah, man, you're doomed. Your people are your DNA specifically is doomed. Right. You know, so I mean, um, they've done it. Yeah, and yeah. Here we are. And here we are. I think that was by design, though. It's like a billion people inside. Yeah. Yeah. So they're trying to cut that. Yeah, it was population control from get go. Because yeah. before it was two kids, right? And yeah, I mean, whenever there's a plan like that, they they they, they saw it through. It's just you that you agree with some change change Yeah. <laughs> which which <laughs> which is definitely a thing. <laughs> now, but with the the, the Mar Hamlin getting injured, there there's conversation. That's saying that whole thing is related to getting the cracks in nation. 1,000, since 2020, 1,000 athletes have died um, of heart attack. Suddenly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it took, it took 38 years to match that number before 2020, and we've got over 1,000 since 2020. Yeah. And they're relating that to the cracks nations now doctors are some doctors now are confessing we knew that getting the cracks nation was not going to be a deterrent all, all of all of
all all the all, all the prominent people, certain people who like who invented certain 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 strength uh, stuff. They 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 saying they 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 saying like yeah that that was that was never they they not in charge of the branding. They just in charge of hey that we think this will do something, and right. then and then the powers that be just they just in charge of hey we we think this will do something. And, and made it into a thing where we had people had to do it, had to get it. Those people were coming out and say, "Yeah, we we never thought it was." What well, we got a one day pill was like crazy magic, man. But the thing, the thing for me, like the the thing was okay. So when we were in it, right? When we were in it, I remember people getting upset. I remember people who got the cracks nation being upset with people who didn't crack, get the cracks nation saying that those who are not getting it are putting them in jeopardy. I didn't get that. If you got it, it is supposed to work. You got it, it is supposed to work. Why are you worried about what everybody else is doing? Yeah, right? So, so, yeah. right? so, so, yeah. so, so, but for me, it was the energy. Yeah. It was the energy that people were, were attacking one another with. It was another thing that we were using to separate ourselves. Yeah. Another form of division. Right, right, and 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 what's what's wild to me is like now, I mean, I remember, man, we couldn't say vitamin C. Yeah, yeah, was without without canceled. without the platform being shut down, and you couldn't say vitamin. I mean, vitamin C. You mean I can't eat an orange? Mm -mm. Well, I can eat it, but I can't say eat this orange. Mm -hmm. But but so so some things just so yeah. now that. These people are saying, okay, yeah, this is what we did. We, we we said that, but we knew all along it wasn't what it was. New York Supreme Court. People don't even want people, people who got it. Some people got like four or five of them. Right. They 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 won't even they they won't. I mean, it's just like it's wild now. So, 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 so okay, so you believe that it was gonna help. Now they talk now, they say it wasn't supposed to help you, now what you got to say. Everybody got nothing to say. You see what happened in the U.S. Supreme Court? Yeah, they said, no, no, no. Get everybody going back to work. Well, they jobs, they're eligible for rehire if they want to go back. Right, right, right. right. You're eligible for rehire. And, and, eligible for back, and, and you get eligible for back pay. Yeah. Right? And somebody was saying that's why they went into Kyrie. <laughs> that's yeah. why they said they went into Kyrie. Because they, owe him like they, owe, they, they owe him They owe him something, right? Because he couldn't work. They got to pay all those things. That. Wow. But, and it's like, like, it owned it. People were going on Joe Rogan early, but he was having, but while he was having people who were for it, people weren't for it, and asking questions or introducing theories. And every single theory that he was getting banned for or getting censored for, they all were true. Right, like a hundred percent true. True. This this came from a lab from such and such. Yeah. This 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 thing will not do anything. This thing does this. This thing is this. This thing is this. every single thing that was contrary to what they were pushing the mainstream was a hundred percent factual. Where it wasn't theory, it wasn't. It was proven and accepted. Like so they were trying to counsel him. And, right. And, but see, for me, for me, it's the fear. For me, it's, for, for me, it's the fact that okay, so if we were put in position to be afraid of this, so we did that. Then what the hell is next? Huh. Right. Because exactly. next is coming. Yeah. They finna give you something else. They are not finna let you just chill. Right. And so now are we gonna keep going for what we're going for? And even in that, they never talk about the down parts of it. They don't say what's happening to people. Like what well, like what we just talked about, like how many people have like perished from this. Right. They don't talk about that. And I was just talking about athletes. That number I gave, yeah. that number I gave yeah. was just about professional athletes who well, the referees and soccer players and basketball. They just passed out yeah. during their while they're while they're yeah, they, in this they won't dare talk about the children. Yeah. No. They won't dare talk about the children, what this did to children. Right. So come on, man. Like it's obvious, like this is a game. Like they playing dumb games with us. It, like, you know, and and like like, it's like what can you do, man? Like you gotta pay attention out here. When I when they gotta extort you to do it, then it's probably it is exactly. what it is. It is what it when is, um when, when again, but when I was one of the things that had me ask this question about is there a group that loves you know, do we, you know, do we love, do we truly love black women? Is there a group that truly advocates on her behalf? In addition to 
Brittany Griner situation and the Shan Quilla Robinson situation. And I apologize because I don't I don't remember the numbers. We could, somebody can look them up. But they were talking about the numbers of sisters that are going down to the DR to get them surgeries who are coming back in body bags. Yeah. And that is not being reported. Yeah. So we so it's like okay, so all right, here we go. Corey Holkin said if if you if you talk about, talk about a man and a woman. He said, if I'm with a woman who won't listen to me, he said, I, I can't be with her because not only is she in danger, but now I'm in danger. So for the black men, and I, I mean, I talk, we talk, so I know, I know we've all had this, we've been in this situation, that when you're in situations and you're putting yourself in a place where you're protecting a sister, she won't even allow you to protect her. So, so once again, I'm like, so is there anybody that truly loves a black woman? Because a lot of when we when we talk about things like vaccination, we talk about when we talk about parenting, when we talk about these things, um, we're talking about love, we're talking about relationships. There just always seem to be this fight where we are finding more and more reasons to be a part if we continue down this road. The men that want to protect them are not are being allowed to protect them. How do we, so how do we, now this is a question for us, how do we navigate through that and protect her anyway? Because she, she need it. I don't, I don't, I don't, that's impossible. I don't, I don't think you protect people anyway. I, that, that, I, I don't. I don't think that that's the right way to go either. It's because, like I said, it's, it's going to be people who are on the same page. And those people should build. If not, if not, then that's fine. And yeah, it's, you can't because it's like it's, it's no. I can't. I can't, can't protect someone who because it, yeah, because like in, in layman terms, what Corey Holcomb saying is. If the house on if the house on fire, there's only one way to get out. And I say, "Hey, let's go, let's go this way." And, she, and she's like, "Well, we gotta go this way." And I gotta explain to her, "Hey, die. it's too it's late." Die in here talking. <laughs> but so, but, but so it's, it's one of those things where if you if you if you go if you go fight me for loving you, then I will love you from a distance and keep moving. There's no there's no there's no other way around it. But if we okay, so but no okay, knowing all that we know, we know that there's a system we know that um things have been put things have been put in place and put in play so that we are separated i can know that a person has been told a lie about me so that they won't deal with me And as a result of not dealing with me, they are now in jeopardy. Are we saying just let them be in jeopardy? Yeah. Pretty much. Because I mean, the re reality is this, man. For every person who will believe the lie, it's it's enough of us. It's an, it's enough. If it's let's say it's a woman, it's a woman who will listen to you enough to hear you and be heard so so i don't have to try to force somebody to listen or hear me yeah i don't even know if that'll do any good right because yeah. you're trying to give somebody some information that's unwanted it's definitely taking negative most of the time yeah right? it's, it's, it's good it's, it, especially yeah. if you if so you, it's like you kind of can't do anything about it this is their choice right their if, you decision. Wanna, if you want to be offended you will be a can force choice and and, and, if, and, if, and if you want to not be on the same page. You won't be on the same page. So I, so I can, so I can try to talk some sense to you, or I can get off that, off that burning, yeah. off that burning house. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I, I, like if I'm interested in a woman, I, I try to find out, like, you know, is she like type that gets drunk? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what do you do? Yeah. Like, she like, out. yeah. She like, like in, out in public settings, you know, getting drunk. You know what I'm saying, and different things because 
I can't be around and you putting yourself in a position where you're not even aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? You impairing yourself and I I can't be, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not, if I'm not there or if I'm there now, I might have to tell some dude to back back up off you. Now I'm getting jumped or, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to jail and, you know, you you ain't, you're not, you're not protecting screaming. Yeah, like, now somebody trying to break this up, like, oh, you kidnapping her, but you're trying to save her. Yeah, like, you're not protecting us. I can see you have some drinks at the house or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And you cool with it, you just going to do what you're going to do. I'm not going to knock that. I'm not going to tell you not to do that. I'm not going to condemn you for doing that. I'm just not going to, I'm not going to date you because right. I, you you ain't putting yourself in a position. You, you, you expose, you make yourself vulnerable. Right. You, you make I yourself think- vulnerable. Like women with that don't. They wear little to nothing. I ain't gonna knock that. That's your life. That's what you wanna do. That's cool. But we gotta know that that brings the intent a certain type of energy, a lustful energy. Mm-hmm. It's like a man you know, on social media. He's showing off his designer. He's showing off his money. Mm-hmm. Then you get mad. You meet a gold digger. Or she played you for the money, or she had you yeah, for money. It just matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, with, yeah, you stop playing, bro. He like, showed her you were that. Like, She's like, oh, like, I, 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 I like those. You know what I'm saying? What do you think is gonna happen, bro? You got a commercial. That's why. Yeah, like, that's why you. <laughs> <laughs> even if, even if, even in your scenario, that's just, if you and then when you, if you try to come to somebody who do, who's not trying to hear that, it don't matter how nicely you put it. Hey, you put yourself in danger, and then that's in turn will put me in because I have because I'm going to have to protect you just by my just by my sheer innate nature is going to try to protect you. I think the problem is that they're showing you that that you are not their leader, right? Right. It's kind of that simple. Like when somebody shows you that you're not their leader, yeah, they're dedicated to something or someone else. Right. Listen to them. Yeah. This is not a this is not a time where you like try to like force their head like, oh, I'm gonna save you. I gotta save like, you. Oh, she's telling you. And that's the I'm dedicated to something else. You but that's the trick. But that's the trick of the system too now because it's like that word leader is automatically a trigger word, but it should just be about wise counsel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like, yeah, you you're not my leader. I'm autonomous. I'm this, I'm that. Yeah, you yeah. are. So you can autonomously um, take heed to wise counsel. Right. But they okay, you know, so, uh, but they make it about gender and right. about a man telling you what to do. And there's times where a sister might tell you you don't need to be over there with them, or right. you don't need to do that. And you needed to hear. You, yeah, you don't need to do that. And, 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 <laughs> and what's, what's wild is women do do that. And yeah. guess what? We appreciate it. I'll be safe on that road. Like, like we 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 genuinely appreciate when you when your intuition is is pure, and you say, "Hey, her they'll shoot over there." I don't know though. And then I appreciate that. But if I tell you the same thing, like, "Hey, probably shouldn't be drinking that brunch," when I heard there's a lot of unsavory characters around there. You're not the boss of me. You don't own me. City girls up a thousand. <laughs> you know, so it's like it's, if, if, it, if it ain't no if it ain't no reasoning with you, it ain't no reason for me to be with you. Wow, I like that. I like that. We had in our very first the very first conversations we had, a young lady said, and it was a conversation about pretty much what we're talking about, about listening to a man, and a young lady said, "I'm not putting up." with that from my husband. He's my husband, He and she wasn't putting up with him. And I can't remember, I want to say it was you, Jim, who said something and it, and it took her where she went. And she said that um, she would, but she, she doesn't have that same energy at work. And she said, I'm at work. That's my boss. That's not my husband. Right. Like it, it, she's supposed boss. to listen to the boss <laughs> at the job more than she's supposed to listen to her husband. Right? And I That's it right there. That was our first show seven years ago. And I and it stuck with me. But she you know his boss ain't got no love for your ass and you disposable. 
But this man that committed to me on his paperwork, if he tried to dispose of me, we gonna have, we gonna see why they door <laughs> when I go walk away from this. So, they, so you're saying that contract? So you know what I'm saying? I <laughs> that could, contract is leverage. Yeah, I could try you a little bit. I could try you a little bit more. You feel me? Like yeah, like I could I could crack with I could crack with black. I can't crack with this random person over here. I don't know why he's doing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is which is I mean that's crazy, crazy when you think about it on that level, but. We be in, we some little working ass in the colony. So what in. is that? Is that fear or reverence, or is it like dedication? It's all, it's all that shit. I think, I think, programming. I think, I think that's survival. Yeah, I, I think, think, I think, think, think that's think, survival. It's not dedication. I don't think. Well, well, I work as, 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 as when I make my. You see boss, but you. I, it's that's kinda, survival. This is why I make my money. Yeah. My boss said. My, my pastor said. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, little oh, man. Yeah. Bob, uh, Bobby Glenn Ty Smith, Uncle Bobby says. You can't leave people if you can't feed people. That's real though. You can't leave people if you can't feed people. But it, it ain't that. But that's subjective to what a person considers to be sustenance right. these days. Absolutely. Yeah. But you know, but we, we, but you know, I mean, but we don't. We do know that the vast majority of people relate that to the, that, that the, bread, the not the bread, yeah, the, but the bread. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to say something though too about the survival thing because I talked with one of my clients um, this week about the survival thing. Like we be saying they're surviving. But I think we're so far past like true necessity that like it's not even survival anymore. Right, right. Now it's about like I gotta keep up or I need this or I'm working on this new thing or I gotta get this. Like it's not even really survival anymore. It's survival of the ego. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Well, like, yeah, but I mean that survival that, of an identity. What, one day, my I good. get what you saying. You saying bare bones survival. Yeah, it's not yes. even but necessity. But no, it's like survival of his identity. Either who I believe myself to be. Who I we in this yeah. time now. I feel yeah. I, I identify feel. as a person that takes trips, yeah. you know, yeah. every quarter right. and wears designer and goes to brunch and, and takes, you know, goes to these five star restaurants. That's how I identify. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, like, it's like okay, so man, that, that you just, okay, you just, and all you that just, stuff. You got, me, you got me going a lot of places. So I, I saw somebody say on online that they're in a room and they're watching everybody. There's a party going on. Everybody's sitting there having a good time. And then one person, and it was, it was a woman, he said one woman took out her phone and started, you know, doing the thing where she was showing the phone around and putting it on her friends. And then everybody got on camera and was bouncing up and down and swinging and popping. Like they had been partying hard all night long. They, they've been sitting there quiet for an hour and a half. Nobody said nothing. But as soon as somebody picked up the phone and started showing around everybody. Hey. Right? So, 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 so now. Everybody went right in the character. I, right. I am, I think my, my son, my oldest boy, Anthony, taught me, taught me this when he was seven, eight years old. Right, we going to going out to go to a restaurant. We like, hey, we're gonna go. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna go out to eat. And he said, the food ain't that good. You know, the food we have at the house tastes better than all the food at all the restaurants we go to. Because the, 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 the question was, why is it there? Why is it every time we go somewhere, no matter where we go, you always order chicken sack? He was like, because it's safe. It's good. It, I ain't got to worry about it being too bad. This, rough, this food don't taste good. Food tastes better at the house. Right. So. He was wise enough then to say, "Y'all just doing this to be doing this. Right? Y'all just doing this to be doing this, right?" So, as a result, I look at how people do what they do, and I'm like, "Y'all, we you, we just doing stuff to be doing stuff to make it look like we doing yeah. something, so we can oh, try to make ourselves yeah, feel good yeah, by what we're doing, and we're now we're chasing stimulation." Well, that's it. Right, and rather than actually being happy, being joyous, we want it's it's easier to look like we're happy than it actually is to do the work and be happy. So we we run around, we chase stimulation, uh, and I and I so that's a myth, yeah. really, because the work is simple. You know what I'm saying? Oh we, yeah, absolutely. You know we've been programmed to be so a lot complicated. A lot of people mean, still don't even know to do the work either. Right. The people who know that yeah, that's, that's that that is that is real. It takes that's a true. task, but a lot of people are not even aware Yo, people, to even be doing something. People get offended when you say do the chase work. Do people <laughs> be really offended when you say do the work. Like you tell somebody like, oh, uh, every 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 person I meet, they don't take women out on dates, and I'm like, well, it's probably you. 
Because <laughs> I go in these all the time. <laughs> Religiously. Right. So and then when you go, you see a bunch of people. Yeah, a bunch of people. <laughs> I just went on a date. I saw Robe. I saw I went on a date Friday. I saw Robe. <laughs> Brand, what's up, Robe? We on the same damn date. Yeah. So it's not people, men don't take women on dates. It's just the men that you attract for some whatever reason. Whatever. It's, that's funny, man, because that be coming up like with a lot of relationships in here. But like I think um, some of the women who say they men don't be taking them on dates, they also be turning down the dates. Right, right. Not all of them. No, because but they'll be. A dude might be like, "Hey, are you free this day?" And they'd be like, "Nah, nah bitch, I got something to do." Like, yeah, not for you. They'd be yeah. like, "All right, yeah. <laughs> well, no, man. No, 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 it's not even that. These are people in a relationship, though. Yeah. So it's like they'll be like, "Ah, oh, man, I need to go on a date." Right. And then dude would be like, "Yeah, I'm setting some up to take her on a date." She's like, oh, "I can't do it." Yeah, it, it, it is so it's that. And then later he's like, "All right, let me try again." And then he's like, yo, what about this day? She's like, no, nah, you shouldn't let me know this day. Yeah. Then, then he waits and like, and now he's like two weeks ahead. Right. And he's like, bro, I'm still trying to take this girl out, bro. <laughs> and, and, and he's for real. This, so, like, dudes really be bitten on this. You know, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of people who they not good at allowing somebody to do things for them or surprise them. Like, it's a lot yeah. of women who they, they can't be surprised. Yeah, they like, hey, meet control. me here on Friday at 8 o'clock. Why? What we doing? You're doing roses and a pool is going to be great. <laughs> yeah, and that's so that's strange, right? Because there's a thing, you know, social media, of course, you know, we know mm -hmm. it's whatever. We go, let's, let's play. Let's all play. Like, this is great. <laughs> but, um, oh, yeah, guys don't say, uh, be ready at eight. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah. for well, I'm aware that you have children. Right. I don't know if you have a babysitter. Right. I don't just want to assume that you don't have anything to do because then I'm being a misogynist or some right. shit. <laughs> so now I'm trying to see if you're free. Right. No, no silverware. No and, and, and now you're complaining that men don't just say, oh, be ready at eight. I'm going to pick you up. What if you don't have a babysitter and I made plans to spend all this money? What or, if I, or, or if you say, what give you me like, a babysitter then. What, what, do, what, do, you like, what do you like? <laughs> what do you like to do with your kid? You want me to pop? Oh, no, think of something. Be spontaneous. <laughs> Why you got me to throw the axes? I don't throw axes. Wow, and I take you fishing, so and I good. hand you a fishing pole. Yes. Go fishing I'm with me. You go, you go fishing? Ready. <laughs> you go fishing? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> My girl ain't with me. Be ready. It's no. fun. No. No, no. she <laughs> might need to know. Huh? You've been, you've been you been fishing for a while. I've 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 been fishing for a so just like you say, like you had a traumatic experience going fishing. And so if, so if I say, hey, so what do you like to do? Or what do you want to do Friday? You'd be like, think of something. And I don't know about your traumatic issue. I'm going to take you fishing because that's I may be, that may be my some of the best times I had with my granddad. But but because, because I was trying to communicate and I was trying to put it together, and you decided that, well, men are supposed to just do this. And I included you. Because right. of inclusion. Right. So, so, so it's one of those things. And the vagueness where, left like, like a miscommunication. I, but, I have to apologize for when I'm behaving that way because I believe in knowing yourself. Like, I don't like surprises. I will tell you that I don't like surprises. I don't have to like surprises. I would prefer to communicate and, and create something together or at least have, you know, some advance notice because I am bad with surprises right. and, and that, but i know myself and, 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 and that's fair but the, the whole the whole thing is a, a lot not just women or men a lot of people don't know themselves and so and so they they base things on a template that somebody else has created for right yeah which is which is and they think they want it to yeah. see what it and it's like what if i want to surprise you every time i don't want to run this shit by you right now. yeah we doing that well, I mean, not everybody is meant to be together. See, damn, you can't have that. <laughs> everything gotta be real past you. Yeah. I didn't say everything, but it's there has to be like a respect. Like, if, like I, I yeah, respect me and get get put on some shit, and we and we're gonna go.
I mean, I already got the baby shit. It's hard if one person loves to be surprised and the other person doesn't. I mean, but like, so, so, are you, are you, are you, but a relationship ain't always about being comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes if one person may... likes to be surprised. The other person maybe needs to surprise them. And then mm-hmm. the, don't surprise the other person. Plan it out. You ain't trying to hear. But I sometimes that. that may be a time where I don't want you to know about it in advance. What I got planned for you? Yeah. Because but then, but most of the times maybe it's ran past. Right. But, it's, but it's, what about that one time? It's not. Is that going to be a huge problem? Right, and in, in, in every in every situation, it ain't always about. Well, I prefer that. A, a lot of I may I may want to surprise you with the wedding ring, and we talked about getting married, but I wanted to do it in a way where it where it was special. Or, or you're going to take out the public and get down on one knee, as Kevin Sanders would say, <laughs> and propose. Or 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 or, or, I may, or I may propose to her at the back of the movie theaters and say, "Hey, check your popcorn." Or whatever the case is, so it's like it's, and so so when it when it becomes like this definitive thing where I don't like that, so it's it, it becomes hard for the most understanding person is going to be like, yeah, I get you on like surprises, but bear meet me somewhere, meet me yeah. half, meet me a quarter of the way, and I'll come pick you up. But it, but it's like one of those things where it's like it's either I don't do that, I don't I don't like that, that's not what I like. This is this, this is that. This is what a man's supposed to do, and it started. It started to venture into this thing where it's it becomes a job. Trying to care for you. Certain things make to... me uncomfortable, and I know it's because of like traumatic experiences in my past. So I might feel like an adverse reaction when a woman is expanding me or making me very aware that that exists within me. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? I'm going with it because I know I've got to get outside of myself in this moment. This moment is telling me that I, I can make a decision to get outside of myself. Right. You see, yeah, uh, now, but that's now. Uh, you okay. had to get, you had, you had to grow there. Yeah. yeah. Right. You had to grow there because because that's the thing. But I'm, I'm voicing it in a moment like, ah, ah, <laughs> like all right, like because I know this is just. I'm you aware that this is you, myself, you, you, but I'm yeah. Sure. I'm aware that the place that I'm trying to exist in right now, right, is like it's not benefiting this moment. I'm not being present. <laughs> right, right, and that's that's key. Yes, ma'am. Somebody asked the question. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Who? Uh, I'm sorry, Drina. Okay. The Yes. Uh, oh, hey, Drina. So it was a good. So it was a good surprise. Are you going to be triggered, triggered, or upset? If it's a good surprise, I think they're asking you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, oh, what's a good surprise? You only you, you stay up. Yeah. I got yeah. your moment. Tell me why. Hold on. No, no, no. Okay, see, I got your moment. Tell me tell. You know your mama was in the town. So we got the babysitter taken care of. She gonna be in town for the weekend. I don't know if you was off. Okay, lined it up with your off days. And I got us just a staycation somewhere at a nice place with a nice restaurant reservations with a tequila tasting. You love the tequila. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get to put on you get to put on one of your dresses, or maybe I got you a dress or whatever. Is your hate of surprises gonna override the experience that has been presented? I think the love that I have for the person who would go through that amount of effort would overcome right my thing right of, like, that's fair right seriously like so maybe i'm not gonna say that there's not something i'm not gonna say that you would still feel like yeah. that little adverse reaction yeah, for sure like, really? right because like just <laughs> <laughs> i would still so, yeah. i mean because it, 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 and then you would love it while it's happening because it can get ruined just just to, it can be ruined just in the car ride to wherever you're going Right, because you know where are we going. Yeah, hey, chill out. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it, you know, it can, it can, it can. So what we're talking about? I tell about, my kids, you'll see when we get there. Yeah, right, my right. son, he. Where are we going? What are we gonna do? You gonna see when we get there, bro. We're talking about willing. <laughs> we're talking about willing. You know, I think, I think that um, in relationships, when we're talking about willingness, when we're talking about compromising. Um, a new relationship may be a little bit more difficult because people are getting to know each other, but. If you stick it out and get there, then you learn to compromise, learn to, you know, negotiate. Um, you do something for that person, that person does something for you, or, or vice versa, or, or or you do something just because you want to do something, and it, nobody has to do anything to reciprocate that. If you guys are 
y'all are in a relationship where you, it's a good one and you're working together. You're talking, you're communicating. I get women out of their comfort zone early because I want to see how they're gonna respond to it. Why and I don't like why don't you want to be out of your comfort zone? Like that's a control. Yeah, no, because like no, no, you hear what I'm saying. You hear know what I'm saying. A new experience can be great, can be wonderful. Most of the, and you think about it, in your life, most of the new experiences that you have encountered have have become things that you enjoy doing. So why are you now resistant to resistant to new experiences? Why are you putting yourself in a box? Why are you, you could, I mean, because in order for that to happen, you have to find yourself and it's concrete. There's no flexibility there. And when it comes to relationships, most relationship um, uh, experts will tell you the more last, long lasting relationships are those that have flexible beliefs. Right? They're not rigid. So in order for growth and, and, and all of that to happen, a, a, a willingness to be flexible, to allow yourself to be put in a situation where that might appear to be uncomfortable, but turns out to be the best day of your life, it, it just requires you to just be trusting of the person you chose to be with. Yeah. You know, you know, also comment, happiness can be fearful. I don't agree with that. No, happiness can't. No, 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 that's no. Real. no. That's, that's, that's real. real. That's real. Yeah. Happiness can be fearful. A lot of people are more comfortable with chaos than they are peace. Yeah, that's for sure. That, that's that's just like just like just like now when she was like, oh, I don't like surprises, and then and then Jason came up with a beautiful surprise, and she started to smile and say, You saw a light. Hey, I might, I might fuck <laughs> with that. <laughs> 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 I might get fucked with a surprise like that. <laughs> so, but yeah, okay. So, happiness can feel like skydiving. I don't know, man. It's I, like, I, 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 not, for some people, it feels like like you free falling right now in this moment. You're just completely yeah. present. You have no control over what's happening, but it's exhilarating. Yeah. Some people just want to stay away from that. Yeah, they want to know like, what's coming, how it's going to go. So they can make a decision about, you know, and so some people happiness takes they, they feel exposed because a lot, a lot right, of, yeah, right, vulnerable. A lot of people don't believe that happiness ends well. So, so. Are they, what, what are you talking about? People who are happy. Most people aren't. Sure, you got to yeah, sure. consider the fact that most people it's are not happy. Most people are in. Most people are in survival mode. Survivor mode. And they do things to have to take a break from the journey in terms of them being in survival mode. Like I'm going to go to the club, I'm going to go to the movie. But when you come out of the movie theater, you're thinking about what your what your next step is because you're in survival mode. Most people don't aren't in happiness. Right. That, that's why a lot of people they're not there. Yeah. So it's foreign to them. So that means if I took you and dropped you in South Korea in a foreign country, that's what happiness feels like to some people. But that's why a lot of people be so be so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what it feels like to some people. That's why a lot of people be so uncomfortable when they're not experiencing a moment of happiness. Because because when because if you if you think that is things are gonna end badly, the moments where you're sure that it's not bad is free. But then the moments when you indifferent to good or bad or happy or sad, that's when people will be like have anxiety. Well, how's that happening? Is it? Happiness is, can be fearful. How is that happy? No, people can be fearful okay. of happiness. That's what I was saying. Okay. Well, right. that's, well, we, I thought that, that sounded like happiness what you said at first. We, then we, happiness then, can be fearful. Okay. Um, well, maybe we're misinterpreting. But that's that's what that's our take on, on, okay. on the statement. Hopefully we got you, Dreamer. Okay. I mean, if you're paranoid oh, as to thinking that, that it's going to go right? bad or that oh. it could go bad or... I mean, is it even happiness? I agree with you on that. See, I thought you said something different. But, Dream, but people, people, okay, listen. Is it happiness if we you're know, scared in a moment? We know that we that our minds carry us where we're going. We know that. And we also know that most people, the vast majority, think 
from a victim mentality. They are, one of the ways I, I describe it is like, um, I want attention. So something I have to, in order for me to get attention, I have to be a victim. Um, and it's like real stuff. My, my mama, the way my mother does it is she's a, <sighs> right? When my mom does that, when I hear that, I know, okay, now she she's going in the victim mode. She wants me to say what's wrong. She wants me to give her some attention. Man, that is that is a thing I do not do well with at all. She she'll go hum twenty times. And I won't say nothing. <laughs> right? I'm real cool. I'm like you can. Why don't you just whatever it is you got to say, say it. Whatever it is you're thinking, you're feeling, you can actually just say, "Hey, I'm feeling this way," or "I'm thinking this." You can actually just do that. But <sighs> so I can say, "Oh, what's wrong?" I ain't finna say, "Oh, what's wrong?" I'm gonna listen to your side. Until I don't want to listen to your side no more. Yeah. Right? So what I'm saying is we, we we actually work in reverse, right? You can be happy or you can get attention. People prefer to get attention rather than be happy. Mm. That's what it looks like. So now we're doing things, we do again, we're back to chasing stimulation, and it's normally done from a negative a negative mind, a negative space. Ask somebody how you do. How you doing? They'll tell you ten things bad before they say the one thing good. Right? It's how people communicate. We communicate from the bottom, and you actually got to coax people. I mean, it was. I mean, I, women are going. I don't see. I know maybe guys do, but I don't see guys going on guys trip. <laughs> I don't see it, but I do see I do see yeah, girl trips, right? They go to right, Dominican right. Republic, man. Yeah, we, 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 <laughs> and they get on the stage in Vegas. They have the big stage in Vegas. We were doing, but nothing good comes of it. So, but but well, I just heard of a new sneak. Yeah. Jennifer, do men have a hard time accepting surprises, or a woman taking initiative to the man role in society is new? No. Men do not. Now, I, let me let me say this. I don't think men have a problem with surprises, but I will say this: Rudy got a problem when he get a surprise because, and this is, and I get it. There's a mirror, so I I get it. It's me, but but because of the mirror, when I get a surprise, or I used to get surprised. I don't really get them too much anymore. Um, and that's and that's no no this is a broody thing right broody thing it's a broody thing but what I became accustomed to was when people wanted to when when a woman wanted to surprise me she was doing some shit she wanted to do yeah. and include me in it and say right. it's a surprise for me surprise, so yeah. this ain't for me it's like you know Father's Day come around Mother's Day come around and you spend. Three thousand dollars making a Mother's Day a Mother's Day. Yeah. Bob's you come around and the kids run in and give you a tie. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's, 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 that's just a comment. That hasn't happened. No, that no. Maybe not at your house. No, no, but I think it's a comment. The, it, it, the, 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 um, the enthusiasm is not the same. Right. So right. So it's no. So to 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 answer your question, Jennifer, I don't think men have an issue with surprise. I think men like surprises. I, you know. Um, but what I would suggest is it be something that is a surprise for him, not something that you want him to like. Right. Like, you know, don't do something that you want him to like. Do what you know he likes. And I mean, you, you can do both, but don't, if you're doing something that's supposed to be like good for, you want us to enjoy it together, but it's, you should also do things that you just want him to enjoy. Right. If he, if he, did, if he likes cigars and, and, and a nice uh, cognac or whatever, get him that. Yeah, you know that's that's a surprise. It has nothing to do with you. The only the only thing the only thing you have to do with you is that it made you feel good to make him feel good. Right. So it's the difference between hey, uh, couples yoga. <laughs> <laughs> I, you do it. And you, 
we'll do it and we'll enjoy it. We'll have right. fun. Right. But that was for you. Right. Yeah. 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 Couple jokes. I just got signed up for that. <laughs> hey, 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 that's it. Fun. It's fun, man. Well, you, you, you do couple, you do that's couple the jokes. Same thing she said. I just did it. Y'all just not fun. <laughs> no, well, couple jokes. Workout. I've, no, I've been going to that same place you went to Christina. No, no, I ain't go to her. Oh, <laughs> younger we, younger wear your ass up. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's, a lot. it's a lot, but but it's bad. <laughs> but at the same time, you, you said the same thing. She was but you but you'll do it for your wife, and you'll have a good time because your wife will try to have a good time. But you're not gonna choose to do that. You're not gonna be like, hey, I got this couple yoga. I hope you're excited. You gonna just be like, all right, you're doing it. Let's go that's do exactly it. That's exactly what happened. And that's all it is. <laughs> and, 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 that, and that's just like me telling her. Hey, we're gonna go to the gym and work out. And she gonna be I was like, why are you acting like that? Like, like it's cool, like it's the best. that's that's why it's, wow, hey. it's important that you that you that we being honest with each other. I will gladly do it and I will have a great time, but I'll be having a great time largely because I'm with you. Right. But it's not because there's something that joke. makes me happy on my own. Right. And that's okay, but don't pretend like it's about me when it's about you and us. Right. That's fine, because because I know for a fact that men will do things for their woman that's just for their woman. Yeah. Absolutely. Go get you All a man. Go get you a man in penny chair <laughs> by yourself this time. Even though I like to get him too, but go by yourself this time, or go see uh spa day. Yeah, go to a spa day. Go to like, and and that is a surprise. A, 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 a us surprise and a you surprise is different, and that's okay. But don't try to make a us surprise a my surprise. Hey, we going to see Tammy Roman in concert? Yeah. Ooh. A Broadway. Yeah, it's like <laughs> going to a Broadway show. <laughs> oh. Hey, is there somebody in Happy the birthday! Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> Did you say anything? Did you bring one of those canisters of tequila to stick in? For real. Yeah. I got just a Broadway ticket. So is Norm in the play? Yeah. Y'all Norm ain't in the play. Why are we going? Imagine soon? you from Miami. And she's like, we're going to a Broadway show in December. Like, wow. <laughs> Yay. Not for me. <laughs> Yay, honey. <laughs> Trying to find something wrong. Oh, oh yeah, man, I need tires. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go down. It's gonna be freezing. I, 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 I want, I want sisters to know. Um, when we look, when we look at the sisterhood, um, we do tend to pause. Now we we see pockets of sisters that are that are solid. Right, um, but we see more bullshit than real shit. I have. Think of a pocket. I, I, I've, <laughs> I've said this. I've said this a lot. Everything I've ever heard that was bad, ugly about a woman, I first heard it from another woman. So. We can love you. We do love you. I'm making a plea that you love yourselves. Is there anything else, children? We love black women. <laughs> <laughs> to the moon back. and back. Even after death. Jason been stabbed and hit by a car by <laughs> yeah, still love him. That's crazy, man. I don't I don't have that same dedication. <laughs> had a black woman get a police, my social security number and tell them to trap me down. And made me pay something every month. And I was on uh, paying more than, you know. Yeah, good story. Man, I'd have had a black woman. This is not helping. <laughs> no, 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 but it's no, it actually, it actually it does help. What we're saying is, but what no. we're saying is, we've all had an experience with a sister or yeah. sisters, and it was, was and it was, and it was, and it was, my point, it was, it, 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 it,
at that time in i mean in a in a, in a in a way where you struggle for a period of time that is extremely uncomfortable and with that we still love you my point is because of my love i chose to look at those situations as not a victim but as to understand what's what's on a black woman's mind and what she's going through you know to understand why she makes these decisions from a place of love not to feel like a victim you know what i'm saying right i went through the victim stage that's that it doesn't help anything no it doesn't, it doesn't. It, it's not it's it's worthless <laughs> so i'm like you know well let me understand this because at the core it's never personal right if you read enough books and you study enough this and that you come to the understanding that these things are not personal right it's whatever a person got going on inside of them at the time this is being expressed this way it happens to affect you it could be directed to you but it has everything to do with what's going on inside of them right, right. so now you can gain clarity and i'm and i'm and i'm dealing with something that attracted me so, right so that, that, that's what it all boils down to so for some reason I, I i i was there wherever she was at yeah right and you can and you can see it and it i always try to figure out better ways to articulate myself when it comes to posts and we try to do the same i mean you pretty much just be like bam but i mean <laughs> <laughs> i'll be like let me see if but i, I can <laughs> sneak around and get because i can see in all of my exes good bad and ugly I can see why I was a mirror match with that. Yeah, I can see, I can see me there. Hey, but, yeah. but with a lot of sisters, they're like, I would never, I didn't do that to him, and it's like, no, you didn't do that to him. The way his energy was expressed, right. I can see where it's expressed. You were doing that to yourself, right, in another way, right, or you were allowing that, and he was doing it because it was being allowed. Like it's still right. a mirror there. There's a give and take. It's, a, it's, a, it's and, a balance. Get it. how you don't want to see that or you can't see that but it's right there but i have talked to someone one-on-one and they've been like okay i see what you're saying and you kind of have to do that but that's what i mean that's what i you know when i'm coaching women it's it's it's, it's part of the process okay so you gotta you gotta you know i let them get it out and let them say it, and then mm -hmm. i and i and i walk them back through what they said and get them to see their part right. in it yeah. But but yeah. you even then you have to be receptive to that. A lot of people are not receptive. Absolutely, absolutely. No, that's absolutely. fine. You gotta know when to hold them, when to fold yeah, them. Right. That's what because mm -hmm. the reality is you going sometimes you, you can sometimes you can give it to it. You can you can simplify the give and take that a person was experiencing. So be like, oh, my husband never has time again. And I say, well, when do you have time for yourself? Sometimes you can break it down that simple, mm -hmm. but sometimes sometimes the mirror is more complex. No, I don't get what you're saying. <laughs> right, right. I, you're I, saying, I, right. I, I, I say it, and I posted this. I say it like this. It was beautiful. I like it. maybe because I said it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but what I said is, if you if you're in a situation where your man doesn't seem like he's available to you, you can believe that in some way you're not available to him. But I mean, but love was the root of how much I do love black women because there was a point I used to just resent every time they ran black men down mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. But that was from a place of survival and, you know, a place of hurt. But as the more I began to open my heart up and gain compassion and gain wisdom and want to grow, I would read the post of them running us down. Mm -hmm and to see why do they feel like this this is a lived experience for them so i can't discredit that why right. do they feel like this why how what's what can lead a person how can, to live a certain life after something like this has happened to them right you know what has to happen for them to be able to see more of the picture than that you know Whereas my part in doing the thing like this to a woman, like what can I do to be better? What can I do to set an example? What can I do to leave a, a imprint on a woman when we are in the vicinity of a friendship or whatever to where now she will have another reference and another blueprint 
of how a man thinks, how a man acts, how a man feels, how a man expresses. Mm -hmm. So I actually took those negative comments and got to the root of them. This will hurt black woman explaining her experience. Maybe it's not coming out in a way that you would like for it to come out, but that is not important. Right. Let's get what's, get what's being said. Use your heart. Sometimes you got to listen with your heart more than with your logical mind. Because people be people be popping off reckless. Yeah. But like Black said, but just responding to that energy with this energy does nothing but like put that nail deeper in that box that they going to stay in. Because in their mind, they just vent. In your mind, it looks, it feels, it looks and feels like an attack. Hell, it probably is an attack. But some people only know how to vent through attack because that's just the kind of environment that they grew up in. Yeah, because you, yeah, learning how to communication. I mean, they say communication is key, and it, and it, and it really is. Most people do not know how to express themselves. I mean, comprehension yeah. is key. And, and communicate, you can communicate all day, but if it ain't comprehended. Well, yeah, uh, yeah I, but I think communication is. I think well. When I say communication, I'm 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 saying that in the way that comprehension is it's getting through. Place. Yeah, comprehension comprehension is on the table. So, but um, it is key. But we, the reality is, communicating in a in I guess you say in a healthy way is not something that is part of the average person's upbringing. True. That's why you can say something to somebody and they'll. Hear something totally different than what you said, and, you know. Because listening, we listen for what we want to hear. We're not actually listening for what say or listening for what you may intend. Right? We're listening through our biases, and and we're and as you're talking, when we you know we see this in the, when we do the conversations all the time when we when we're dealing with the audience. You can as we're looking at the audience when you're saying something, they're positioning themselves to defend themselves before yeah. you even get out what you're trying to say. Yeah. Right. So they're listening through their bias to protect themselves. So that's why, you know, I think I think we do a fairly good job of navigating that energy while we're in this room and and, and saying, okay, so and we can ask the question to ask the next question and get to it and be like, oh, oh, okay. I get it. But in regular everyday conversation that people are having, they're not doing that. But that's the reason we have the conversation before the conversation, because we're going to say something here in this conversation. So when you have that conversation, you can use what you get here to make that conversation go a little bit more, more smooth. Yeah. So with that being said, yeah, okay. I apologize. Go ahead. Before we hang up, I just want to shout out to your chat room people. You don't mind? No, absolutely. Go right ahead. Uh, American Gunner. What's up? What's up? We got to get you. Topic, keep being a bad, uh, being a spiritual badass. I see y'all. Okay. <laughs> right. um, thank you to America Gunner. Thank you to Greena. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, oh, Commission. Thank you, Commission. Time then. Okay. Um, Green time, green time, been a lot. <laughs> Commission, um, oh, uh, thank you to Dewitt Delancey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Chime in, Bubba Brown. Bill Bub. And Shayla Denae. Okay. All right. Well, we want to thank you all. Really appreciate it. Um, like us, share us, and um, stay tuned. We'll be back. Good night. Watch out for the underwater Mexicans. Underwater. <laughs> 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 <laughs>